Okay, what is next? Next, I'm going to talk about mechanism. Well, if you remember the example uh, where we had four power plants, if you don't, please go back to that example and refresh your mind. Uh, well, there we talked about two mechanisms. One in which the mechanism designer asks the agents uh, to declare their uh, information, private information, like what is the true state of the world. And the second has nothing to do declaration of uh, true state of the world. The mechanism designer just asks the individuals to play some game like up and down and then uh, all those up-down uh, strategies lead to uh, the outcomes that we were sort of trying to implement. So uh, the mechanism can be a, a sort of a game form, can create a game form, which has nothing to do with the, uh, the, the, the private information declaration. So therefore, uh, you're going to see a resemblance of the social choice function here, but the mechanism designer, I'm sorry, social choice function is just one mechanism, but there might be a bunch of other mechanisms, all right? So what is a mechanism? A mechanism is a pair. It has two components, M and G, where M is a Cartesian product of M1, M2, all the way up to Mn. What is each Mi? It's the message space or strategy space of each individual. And so M is a, a Cartesian product of uh, strategy space or message space. What is G, however? G is what's called outcome function. It maps each messages or strategy profiles into uh, D and R, the decision, the social decision, and RN, well, this is going to be the transfer part of it, okay? So, uh, therefore, for any message profile or strategy profile M, G of M is going to have N plus one component. The first component is GDM, which is uh, what is the social outcome once the message M is realized? And this is GT1, is what is the transfer of the first individual once the uh, uh, to the message M is realized? And GTN is what is the transfer of the nth individual once the message profile is realized? So that represents the resulting decision and transfers. Okay, so here is one very important thing. It's like we need to connect the mechanism, this description of mechanism, with all the previous things that we mentioned, like uh, decision rule, uh, what else? Uh, transfer function, the social choice function. So remember the social choice function had two components, D and T, right? So therefore, G is in fact... Uh, what, 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 what G does is choosing a social choice function, right? Uh, the, the range is D cross Rn, which is basically where the social choice functions are coming from. So therefore, M is the message space. So for any declared messages, the G, the outcome function, is going to choose one social choice function. All right. I know it sounds complicated and, uh, well, more than that, it is complicated. Uh, but hopefully, as you spend more time on those things, uh, and, and those descriptions are, for that reason, very, very important, uh, things are going to get clear. The picture is going to get clearer, hopefully. But the thing is, the mechanism, so this is a very generic description of mechanism. So the mechanism is going to let individuals play some game, all right, where those M's are gonna, going to be their strategies, all right, so this is a strategy, all potential strategy profile, and for each potential strategy profile, uh, the mechanism is going to lead to an outcome. An outcome has two components, what's the decision and what's the transfer. In some examples, there's gonna be no transfer, like voting games, uh, the matching problem or the example, the which power plants to build, there was no transfer whatsoever. So there's no R to the power N in those examples. There's only D. What is, so in the voting environment, 
which candidate will be elected or in the um, in the, in the uh, matching problem, uh, you know, which college and which student will be matched with, with one another, all right? But in the auction environment, for example, um, so M is the bits, right? I mean, this is why we needed a, a very generic uh, description. So in the first price auction, for example, the mechanism doesn't ask people, what is your true value? The mechanism asks people, the bidders, what is your bid? You know, how much money would you like to pay? This can be higher or lower than your true valuation. Well, it's not optimal to bid higher than your true valuation. But in fact, if you remember, uh, it is optimal to bid uh, and pay uh, less than your true valuation in the first price auction, if you remember. So in the first price auction, uh, the mechanism is not going to ask people, tell me your true value. It tells them, tell me how much you want to pay. So the, the messages are actually the bits, all right? And then given the bits, the mechanism, the first price auction is going to determine who wins and who loses. Remember, D is very simple. The highest bidder, I'm sorry, the bidder with the highest bid wins and everybody else loses. So this is the D and then RN. So what is RN? Well, the bidder, I'm sorry, the winner is going to pay his bid and everybody else is going to pay zero. So this is how the first price or the second price or the third price or all pay auctions work. In the all pay auctions, again, the messages are the bids and the decision function, again, very simple. Uh, look at all the bids, the highest bidder wins. And then RN is again, simple. Everybody pays his or her bid, okay? so. Uh, but again, remember the social choice function, we said social choice function looks at theta, the, the declared uh, types, and then given the declared types, I'm sorry, it calculates the, the social decision and then uh, the transfer, right? So the social choice function is a, is, is a machine, a smaller machine. Think it this way. So mechanism design is a big machine that we're trying to build, all right? And social choice is a smaller machine that will play an important role in this bigger machine. So social choice function takes, its inputs are the types, the, 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 the declared types of the individuals. The mechanism's inputs, however, is the messages, uh, where the messages can be or be different, can be the same or different from the uh, uh, types. Meaning, uh, in some games, you can actually just ask people, what is your true type, right? I mean, it's possible. You can ask that. In some environments, it can be an optimal mechanism. In some environments, it's not. Well, however, in the example two I mentioned in uh, you know several episodes uh, before, while well, the matching, I'm sorry, the uh, oh for example in the voting environment and in the uh, matching environments, we uh, we we always asked the participants their preferences. So therefore, uh, the messages were nothing but rankings over uh, you know the decision rules. However, in the auction. Uh, the messages are different than uh, uh, valuations. Or in the example two I did uh, several episodes earlier, again, the message space was up and down, has nothing to do with state one and state two, okay? The number of messages can be different than the number of, uh, uh, you know, uh, private data. Uh, I mean, you may have two types, but you may ask guys, I mean, you can give them a, a game, a mechanism which has, you know, infinitely many uh, messages. It's, it's possible. Uh, it's allowed, at least. All right. Nevertheless, this is how we define a mechanism. So what we're going to talk next, which is very important, how mechanism implements a social choice function. Okay. This is what we're going to do next.